Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're back with a Saving the Disaster campaign. Today we're going to continue our Advent Lockdown campaign uh, in the very first section of this um, run. We figured out that we've almost lost all of the soldiers and on top we got shut down. Uh, really got a bunch of rookies here that is trying to make their way uh, forward. And our biggest target will be to disable the gun. So without further ado, let's jump into the mix. Um, what I would want to do is take an aggressive uh, move forward. Really need to get a line, on, uh, line of sight on uh, the target. I recognize though uh, that uh, this one patrol here will probably move further into our direction. So let's find a position where we can greet them accordingly. Yeah, this here unfortunately will trigger them already. So we're going just a tiny bit closer. Let's continue to move over here. Ah, that's, it's really difficult to find the right advancement because we've blown away all of the cover. Kind of a bit of a disadvantage. We could move all the way up here, but that is a dangerous endeavor. Probably will do that next turn. For now, our only spot of cover is actually over here. Everything else is gone. Affirmative, moving out. So we're clustering up quite nicely there. Heading out. Position confirmed. Order's confirmed on the move. Working with a uh, limited amount of cover here. Good. Lots and lots of overwatches. Hoping that they will run into us. Which is going to take a shot because I don't want long, uh, long watch to trigger another pack. Instead, we're slowly but surely grinding down uh, this car over here. Or this um, little tank, rather. Interesting, they are following the Reaper. Well, that's one way of do, uh, dealing with the situation. Got a remote startable car, which if they continue to follow us, I will definitely use to our advantage. Good. First and foremost, we see that there is a gatekeeper and probably a bigger pack um, right here at the truck. Secondly, we do have a, a very open shot onto the truck. So we're starting to dish out damage. It's not the only source of uh, damage, but it will be round after round a pretty consistent uh, bit. Going to be careful here because I don't want to trigger the other packs. This here might already trigger the uh, the other pack, so we're not going to go down that route. Got it. Moving. There we go. Unfortunately, there is no other spot here which we could use that would not trigger. Cover me. 
Such a weird setup. Really not a lot of cover to work with um, in this situation. So we're shifting almost our entire force onto the left flank. Really don't want to stand in the open. Nope. So. We're just keeping a tight formation here. Somewhat setting up the um, tank to be killed next turn. Don't want to kill it this turn because um, its explosion could trigger the other pack and I don't want that to happen. Said what we're going to do is simply overwatching, waiting if one of uh, th uh, the patrols runs into us. That's not the case. Instead, another patrol just runs into our direction. Interesting. Got three codices over here. probably go and take that shot so easily set up flame. simply because it's shredding and it almost kills the codices Good, we got three codices over there. We can't continue to stand in full cover. We're going to be teleported upon anyways. Got some nice blue screen rounds here, but only a 40% to hit, which is not really acceptable. Thinking about moving up. Alternatively, we could just remove the cover here, which is probably the better um, plan. We're going to split the codex, but that's okay. I think we can kill both of its parts. Don't have a flashbang. Can't believe that I'm doing this, but I th actually think that Comet Presence onto a rookie would not be a bad idea. That could be a direct shot into the open and kill. Okay, good one. Still need to get that second codex down. And you can see how difficult it is without cover to advance. It's just the room for um, the room or the margin for error here isn't particularly high Heading there now. 60 percent come on good so one codex is down two more to go but emp grenade would have been um incredibly helpful i want to put that up against uh, one of the gatekeepers Don't even have run and gun yet. It's really a shame. Because I can already write, write the script of what's going to happen. Teleport in, big fat um, psionic bomb. 
which will disable most of the weapons and that stinks to be honest i think that 43 percent sh uh, shot it's almost a 50 50 might be worth taking it i'm not the biggest fan of it but the sniper will lose his remaining ammunition anyways and it could have been a one uh, shot kill Spreading out just a tiny bit because I know already what is going to come. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. Yeah, the teleportation unfortunately doesn't trigger Overwatch. That's the psionic bomb I was talking about. Yeah, big shocker, I know. Shot into full cover. And those guys would want to have a remote start as well. Interesting. Ooh, and there's yet another remote start option here. Target rich environment, that's for sure. Good, we gotta get <clears throat> out of uh, the situation up there. Also, let's deal as much damage as we can. What did not work out as intended. Almost would like to continue hammering down on that um, on that target. Very nice damage. All right, moving out of uh, the zone into full cover over here. Doesn't trigger anything yet, so let's clean up with the remaining codex, uh, codices. Moving up further. Yeah, we can't reach the other codex yet. There is a bunch um, of enemies who might just run it down here and will come to us. So I got to be careful there. Moving, out. Moving outside of the influence zone and reloading. On our way. I can already see the next psionic bomb. That could happen right here. Of 
one more round until the next remote start. This here would be a great remote start. Unfortunately, it's not going to work. This here is a good remote start as well. Specifically, since there is another gatekeeper right behind uh, the truck. Hmm. Difficult decision, I would say for now. Try to set up a bit closer. And as for our sniper, that's another chance to immediately get rid of the codex. I think we're probably going to take another 40% chance. Not the greatest shots. Yep. And I immediately regret that decision. Elizabeth here needs some more cover, so she's now not only having full cover, she has the 8 protocol on top of it. Let's rock. And I would just do an overwatch because I don't want to hit it and then it starts uh, to clone itself. Not going to place another claymore. We do have two remote starts in line of sight, so I'm just going to reload and accept that we're going to take a bunch of um, structural damage. Good. So they are definitely on our prowl. <clears throat> the AI is slowly but surely suffocating us here. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, we can finish one of the codices without a problem. Let's start advancing just a tiny bit. This pro this year would probably pull. The same time we gotta advance. So having them take cover behind the truck, which not yet exploded, and having the opportunity to explode said very truck, it's not the worst idea. On my way. We're putting the rookies in front here. And let's see if we can kill the truck. There we go. We did some shredding, but nothing major. Fortunately, we're running out of cooldowns with our skirmisher. So that's pretty much a straight 
front to back fight and you normally don't want to find yourself in situations where that's the case it's just not a great place to be at Let's use our remaining explosives for now, just to remove cover. Certainly cover removal is one of the areas that we were not having enough of. Nice little hit on the elite officer. Let's get this guy down. Moving up, most of our cover is unfortunately half cover, which is definitely not good. So unless we can kill some of them now, we're going to take quite a bit of retaliation. There we go. <clears throat> so looking at the rest, the purifier will not do that much. He's just going to shoot at both, probably missing. Um, shield bearer will use a shield. We're going to see yet another psionic bomb in probably one shot that we're going to take. So in terms of setup, I would almost propose another setup over here I don't like that 40% shots but it would be a one kill a one, a one shot kill yep and that has effectively helped us quite a bit staying in full cover I want other targets to be more attractive and we're just overwatching. He could run over here and flank us. So let's get our specialist in position. Killing another Codex. Not good. Is he really standing in the open? Oh, wow. Okay. That was incredibly stupid. But I'm fine. I mean, he can certainly do that. Good. And this is going to be the shield, just as expected. And there's another pack over here. Got to deal with a target. That is a bit unexpected. I wouldn't have guessed that they would engage. Okay. Okay. Good. Let's take a couple of looks first. Probably want to move up and deal with this guy rather sooner than later. But can we shred him before that happens? I think the answer is yes. Okay, a bit of an aid protocol here. Let's give it to Perez.
trying to preserve as much cover as possible. That did. I forgot about the shields that effectively prevent shredding. That was a plain mistake. Um, so one thing that you should know about uh, shields is they essentially prevent uh, the shredding effect of grenades if they completely absorb them. Should have just taken a look there. There's no excuse. But we can still deal with it. It's not the end of the world. Pa uh, Paul here. Begins to move up with his aid protocol. And there is a solid chance for crit. Yep, there we go. So at the end, the outcome was the, was the exact same. Next up, <clears throat> let's try to get the purifier. Hit the armor. It did not strike the flesh. I don't want to use another grenade yet. We probably will need it. And we gotta continue to hit the actual target. Need some reloading over here anyways. Good, purifier is done. That's, by the way, what you get when you're simply standing in the open. Position confirmed. But I uh, got to be careful with our grenades. We only have two more and <clears throat> one claymore. So we could move up here. That's a critical strike. That was good. Comet presence for yet another critical strike. And the rookie blows it. That was the perfect setup, boy. Fifty-fifty. Yeah, luckily that was a nice safe right there. Good. Back in the game, we are moving up and let's continue to unload to now save some more Avenger integrity. We will need that going forward. Unfortunately, we don't have plasma lances. Fortunately, we're hitting for a decent amount of damage. Ninety-two percent good enough. 
mainly because I do not want to deal with them when they are teleporting over. Gotta speed up our process of getting to the target and hopefully eliminating it. Can take one more sh big shot, but not much more than that. This is going to hurt. Yet another psionic bomb. And luckily we were saving our grenades because we will need them right now. Luckily we saved them because we will need them right now. Where is my EMP when I need it? Oh yeah, no problem. We're going to get there. Moving on target location. Good. We'll do that in a second. That here would be the perfect position, unfortunately not available. This here could be another good one, unfortunately too close to trigger yet another pack. So it looks a bit strange, because we're opening up to be ambushed from behind. But I wanted to <coughs> flank this guy, so I think we're fine. The one pack is here. I'm pretty sure we're not going to trigger it. Moving up. I think we will need to shred him. I don't see how else we're going to get him down. We're having a pretty uh, low hit chance on the gatekeepers anyways. We might be able to stun him. If that's the case, then we should be fine. The reason why I did it that way around is because um, the first hit will cause it to close its shell. And I knew that I could deal more damage. It's yeah, it's neither disoriented nor is it stunned. Also has gatekeeper as an option, uh, not gatekeeper, um, gateway as an option, which would be horrible because we would take so much damage. I think I do have an idea what we theoretically could do. Okay, so we got one. Ah, uh, that's not good enough. <clears throat> He will get his turn. I don't think that at this point I can do much about it. Moving on target location. We're green to go. Could theoretically move up here. And then try to reach him with a shrapnel. It's not a good solution either. I'm trusting you.
Yeah, we're we're having one soldier uh, straight up in the open. Might lead to provoking actually like a straight up um, eye beam instead of gateway. But the problem is we just don't have the uh, the power to to get him down. Not this turn. And he can and might as well flank us. So instead, let's reload Overwatch. That's why I wanted to kill the codices first, because it's a nasty combination. Interestingly enough, he's retreating. Wouldn't have, I wouldn't have bet that that uh, actually was an option for him, not at this point, but okay, whatever. Continuing to get this uh, thing down. Two more shots and we're and we're good to go. Ooh, okay. I wasn't expecting them to be there, to be entirely honest. Not the end of the world. But we're not in a great position either. Let's move up and see that we can at least kill the stun lancer. Nice little hit, by the way. Six to eight, and he has two, four, six, seven. Uh, that would need that would require maximum damage. Shotgun is good, but unfortunately, fifty percent is just not it. Let's see. Do we have our combat presence? We do not. Uh, too bad. Good, but that actually would be a nice little flanking position. Not the greatest odds. There you go. Pretty solid hit, nonetheless. Going into full cover over here. Reloading time. Good. Let's move up further. We're staying in full cover. He's not going to move, so might as well just take the 30% shots and hope that we are going to remove the cover, which clearly we did not. Moving into a better position because we can't do shit from there. Good. Finally, we got some pretty solid cover. Good. As for our general reaction here, I would 
just go for overwatch for now that's hopefully the last shot that we needed to take Ooh, too bad Oh, that was a mistake. Now we can kill him and the Holy Warrior double uh, trigger. We'll just take care of the rest. Nice little shot into full cover. Thankfully, our positioning was good. This is something that um, you can definitely take a learning from. Um, make sure that you have tight positioning and then um, even kind of reactionary fire like the one that you've just seen isn't as big of a deal okay okay very good so moving away from here which frees up that whole uh, option heavily damaged and moving up to exploded which will deal some damage unfortunately just lost our cover over here that's disappointing Let's move up. Shotgun to the face never uh, disappoints. Unfortunately, the sustenance has saved this other guy's life. How cruel. Uh, sustenance of the priest has actually saved that guy's life. This here is unfortunately ending his turn. Or is it? No, it's not. Okay, just this uh, punch is not ending his turn, so might as well start with that. There you go. And you know what? Let's just finish you. One more hit afterwards and we're finally done with that chapter. Good. Moving into full cover. Tight positioning. Moving, out. Moving into a position where we can actually hit that priest. I loaded this cartridges myself. Watching comes naturally. On Overwatch. Good. Priest gets back up. Hopefully he starts to run. And falls for our overwatch trap. Well done. That worked like a charm. Good. 
let's see uh, we would be out of uh, reach that's great and that should end this problem Ooh, one more turn well it's fine so how about we're just re structuring our front line here uh, t uh, a bit because uh, people are standing all over the place it's a great chance to reload moving up moving up Got another remote start, but that doesn't matter for now. Oh boy, we're already uh, 45 minutes in. I think we're going to destroy this one here and then call it a second episode for now. It takes way longer than I would have expected. Super careful uh, gameplay, not because I I don't want to play more aggressively, but the rookies are maybe not the the easiest way to approach this. Moving up. Good. Everyone takes a reload. And then everyone overwatches. Yeah, we're not going to let it fire one more time. With only one sniper and a magnetic sniper rifle, it's actually not that easy. Good. I think we. I think we got the um, gatekeeper as well. Yep, there it is, guys. All right, that uh, was the second gatekeeper, which is fine. So we're left with a few remaining forces over here, and then of course the aftermath of uh, that invasion. Sorry to put it into three missions, guys. I know uh, mm, uh, that you want to see just a complete mission at once, but I. Um, Needed some time to think that through. It was actually quite hard if you don't have the uh, the right um, level of technology. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you enjoy saving your disaster campaigns, two things. Number one, consider uh, to put them onto the channel because um, I absolutely love playing them. And number two, consider subscribing or leaving a comment down below. Um, what's your favorite part about the saving your disaster campaigns would be today's question. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye bye, guys.